My St Lucian adventure has now come to an end, so it's time to fly home. My route today is from St Lucia to Gatwick, then I need to get a bus from Gatwick to Heathrow, and then I'm flying from Heathrow to Manchester. BA tell me this is all possible in the time frame they've given me. What is it? Follow me, find out. How long will it take? I'm going to start the timer now. So one not so sure taxi ride later, here we are at the airport. It's half past seven and I'm here at Hoenora Airport, French for Iguana. Just checking in for my flight with British Airways. Uh, very, very small airport. There's not much here at all before we go airside. All I can see so far is one tiny restaurant. Yeah, very, very small, not much to see here at all. I think I'm just going to go and head through security. Gate six. Let's go this way. We've had to go through two sets of emigration and then we've had to go through security. Security was a breeze because there's only us, there's only our flight and there's quite a few staff so we've got through in about five minutes. Great, perhaps we could learn a lesson. Less flights England. There we are, top of the board, 10 o'clock, last flight of the day, on time. So I'm, I'm flying World Traveller Plus which is BA's term for premium economy this evening. I'm hoping I get a bit of sleep, I don't normally sleep very well on flights. I'm hoping that a little bit of extra room might make things a little bit easier for me. Is premium economy worth on an overnight flight? I'm not quite sure, so I should be able to answer that question by the end of this. Thank you. Boarding group three, just on my way to go and get on the plane. I can see it from here. I'm very excited. I love a 777. There she is. Tonight, 777. They appear to be refuelling, so I think for health and safety we've just got to wait a few minutes to get on. This flight has come from Georgetown in Guyana and some of the old crew are getting off. So the new crew have already got on, the old crew, crew are getting off and we're moving. All boards are just waiting to take off and I'm just waiting for a pre-departure drink. They've had one on the that side but I've not had one and I'm feeling very left out now. Oh here it comes, ooh, jump the gun there. Chin chin. Darkness and people are starting to fall asleep. But the meal's come around soon, so I'm gonna enjoy the meal. And I've also just been given a lovely, lovely refreshing hot towel. It does wonders for your bed. Forty-five minutes into the flight and the first drink service has started. I'm not having my usual prosecco. It's it's too late now. It's well past my bedtime. It's five to eleven. I've been asleep this time every night in St Lucia. So tonight I'm staying awake to have a meal. But look what I got for my drinks: Coke, ginger ale, and two packets of pretzels. And I love these pretzels. Well, I think this looks rather nice. Although I do wish they'd stop doing that. Let me fix that for you. Real, honest to goodness, cutlery. Love it. As you can see, I thoroughly enjoyed that meal. The only thing I will complain about is, you see that? Could that not be in a proper cup? It'd be so much nicer if you could have your tea in a proper cup. The, the chicken, uh, the potatoes were absolutely to die for. Um, I found the salad a little bit on the dry side. It was nice and spicy, but a little bit dry. I'm also enjoying the fact that on this flight, they have some golden oldies, so I'm going to watch Creature from the Black Lagoon, and possibly even The Bride of Frankenstein. There's so much entertainment to choose from. I missed the end of Creature from the Black Lagoon, so I fell asleep before that finished. and got a couple of hours on and off. I managed to listen to a couple of concerts, ABBA, George Michael. So I've not got a lot of sleep, but I've had some sleep, so that's something. The mood lighting's just come on. They're going to give us a snack, and we've got one hour... 19 minutes left to go. This is just the start of the trek though. I've got to jump a bus from Gatwick to Heathrow, then I've got to get a flight from Heathrow to Manchester, and then I'll finally be home. Whoop whoop! Not long to go now. Here's the trolley coming round. Food! Connection time between Gatwick and Heathrow. It's quite tight. The plane lands at half 11. It looks like we're a little bit early, maybe 11. And our next flight leaves at 3, but we've got to get across from Gatwick to Heathrow, which takes at least an hour. So whether I can check in in time, I don't, I don't really know. BA, 
I, I did ask the creator, put me on a later flight, but he said this would be fine. But it sort of does add to the stress a little bit, because now I'm thinking, I've got to find out where to get the bus, so if there's no bus, I'm going to have to get a taxi, which is going to be mega expensive. I've got myself a little breakfast wrap, and it is little, smaller than my head, and a nice cup of tea. Bloke next to me doesn't like egg and all the breakfast wraps I've egg on. We've actually given him a crew meal, so he's got a little crew meal here. Isn't that nice? I was really impressed with that. Small but very nice. We did, we did land early, but unfortunately we, we can't find a stand for us now because we're early. The stand we were going to take, the flight was supposed to push back, but has failed baggage. So they're having to identify baggage, so... Sitting on the tarmac, waiting to get off this plane. Oh my word, come on. Got places to be, people. Thank you so much. Have you made your flight okay to Manchester now? We've missed the bus. Oh, you haven't already. <laughs> That's a bad start. We're going to get an Uber. <laughs> yeah, <great. It's> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Pocket gate that was quite far away. Done quite a bit of walking to get to here. Immigration was there quick. Just a five minute job. Just waiting for my bags now. So hopefully they should be here any second now. Just sat in an Uber. I missed the Flix bus. I couldn't work out where to get the National Express from. So I've just jumped an Uber because we're cutting time really tight now. I reckon we'll get there about 10 past one, the flight leaves at three. So hopefully I can get checked in on time. Currently on the M25, heading towards Heathrow Airport. This is not what I wanted happening. When BA tell you this is possible, don't listen. Well, that was, I haven't felt much of that because that was a complete nightmare. Got stuck in traffic forever. Got here really quite late. Went to the self-service queue and I've got two bags. And Why are they doing this? Why? Stop people from taking two bags on or three bags on or make them stick to the proper bag size. Anyway, went to baggage check-in. People are saying that AI is going to take over the world. Well, at the moment, AI can't even work out the average of two bags. So I'm not too worried, to be honest, because one of my bags is slightly over. One is quite a bit under. Because the one that was over, I put it on the scales. It then says, it's over, you owe £65. You need to go and pay down there. I didn't have a problem from London to St. Lucia, but suddenly I've got a problem from Heathrow to Manchester. So I had to go, rearrange my bags, go back. Remember, I'm very late at this point already, so I was having a bit of a baby. Then I went to security. Security was huge. It was massive and slow. But, whew, calm thoughts, calm thoughts. I'm sitting here outside the gate, and I'm going to board this plane. I am getting home on time. Just got to work out how I'm getting home from Manchester to where I live now. <sighs> Rant over. Seat, but look, my weather's originals have got their own seat. I'm so happy. Just heard a load of clunking and planking. I think they're just setting everything up downstairs and then we can go. Coming on. Be delayed for just over an hour. Apparently, they needed to shut the runway for a short while. There's been a bit of a build up of traffic, so you can see the traffic behind us. Uh, we're hoping to go very, very soon. Please let us go very, very soon. Please. No jammy dodgers on offer this time. Just the corn and a bottle of water. 
I did say I was going to try the corn on the way out and I didn't. I've still got the corn in my other bag so I've not tried it yet. I'm going to try it now and let you know. I was so grumpy and tired at this point, I was never going to make a video ever again. But here we are. I had to grab a train from Manchester Airport to Salford Crescent, then another train from Salford Crescent to Apolland, and then I had to wait for a taxi. So I eventually got home at this time. St Lucia is a country not to be missed, but I'm not sure I'd stick to the time as British Airways gave me. I think I'd book an overnight hotel and go the day after. But go anyway. Bye for now.